Good afternoon. So in this video, I am going to discuss about the principles of marketing, quarter one, module two, which is the customer relationship, customer service. Okay, so what is in here? What is in this module? This module is very important for all of us marketers, especially those students who are going to work into a marketing industry. Okay, so what is relationship marketing? It is a form of marketing developed from direct response marketing campaigns that emphasizes customer retention and satisfaction rather than sales transactions. Because in the traditional approach of marketing, it is just a one-way approach, de ba? The the sellers or the marketers are just focusing on the production, on the product, the quality of the product, and it's selling. There is no such word as relationship towards our customers. Okay, so in this relationship marketing, this is a a contemporary uh, form of marketing wherein uh, the marketers build relationship with their customers. Okay, it differentiates from other forms of marketing in in that it recognizes the long term value of customer relationship and extends communication beyond intrusive advertising and sales promotional messages okay uh, the marketing does not end in there but beyond those promotional advertising okay so there is a relationship between the marketer and the customers Okay, so when we say customer, let us first define what is customer. A customer is a person or an organization that transacts with a business person or business organization to buy goods or services for monetary or other valuable considerations. Acquiring and keeping customer is the end goal of businesses because customers create demand. Okay, customers create demand. Customers create Profit and customer is the life blood of every company in every business. So customer is very important. So that is why we give as marketers we have to give importance to our customers. So there is what we call as managing customer service quality. So maintaining high levels of customer service quality may be challenging due to variability of services. Okay. In order to ensure the consistency of customer service quality, organizations conduct rigid customer service training and assess periodically how customer service problems, areas of improvement, and current levels of customer satisfaction. So in every company, there is what we call as customer service department or Sometimes other companies are, uh, they are having the research and development, which also includes customer service development, okay? So there is a series of customer service towards the frontliners and how to uh, assess, how to how to assist rather customers, how to value customers, how to entertain customers, and how to satisfy customers, which is uh, which is done in a different way as compared to competitors. So we have to build a competitive advantage when it comes to customer service so that customer will have uh, will go back to us okay so there can be there will be retention of customer a repeat purchase repeat uh, transaction with that customer okay so customer service 
uh, managing customer service differentiation. So, how can organizations make their customer service stand out? So, yung sinabi ko kanina na our customer service should have a competitive advantage. Yung iba talaga yung approach natin when it comes to service, customer service, as compared to our competitors. Okay? How they can... How can they protect their service from being duplicated by competitors? Okay. So, as you can see, the Soki Club, uh, Soki members is now duplicated. Okay. Is now being copied by other most. No? Most of the companies have this. Uh, Soki card. Okay. Loyalty cards. Uh, reward card. Okay. So, how can we... As business, how can we protect our services that cannot be duplicated by our competitors? Okay, so customer-centered organizations can differentiate their customer service through, number one, the development and training of competent customer contact personnel. Okay, so uh, I have mentioned that a while ago, no? The, the training, the development of customer service. Uh, in every company, there is what we call as customer service officer or customer service manager, okay? Number two, um, designing and implementing a serious, a superior service delivery environment and process okay so this is how uh, the company is now strategizing in designing and should implement a superior not just a a medicare way but a superior way which yun sinabi na nga now which should stand out as compared to your competitors okay so these are the following uh, some of the more, most popular customer service practices in the Philippines. Um, customer service practice and practicing organizations. Okay, so free delivery. Uh, halos na, no? Uh, most restaurants and fast food chains. So, they are adopting the grab. Okay. Uh, sa paba, uh, okay. And the... Um, Food Panda, okay? So, autom automated in-home ordering system, some supermarkets and drug stores. So, uh, one call away, so the products or the food and the medicines will be delivered at the door of the customers. Free gift wrapping, plastic book, jacket, or some of the department stores are offering that. Okay, so free gift wrapping. Merchandise, document, pick up, selected career services. Free parking in some church, churches and religious organization. Uh, yes, parking also with the hotels and resorts. Reservations, installment plans, some large department stores, bookstores. Complimentary refreshment, waiting lunch, especially no, with a car dealership. They're offering these services. Help desk, touch phone access, 24-hour customer hotline, and most utility firms and telecommunication firms. They are offering that service. Free appliance installation in most of the appliance stores. Scheduled floral bouquet del delivery from flower shops, drive through uh, most fast food outlets. Yes, there is what we call as drive through, and then free alteration and garments, selected apparel retailers. And um, today, some of the uh, banks are greeting you no in on your birthday they are sending you an email to, to say happy birthday okay so those were just some of the services that is that is offered by the companies in order to retain or in order to satisfy customers okay so now we go to the customer relationship management at its core Customer Relationship Management, or the CRM, is all of the activities, and strategies, and technologies that companies use to manage their interaction with their current and potential customers. As saying frequently heard and said in many 
businesses is customer is a king. Yes, a customer is very important in every organization. They offer you the financial, the profit that you need in order to grow your business. So when there is customer retention, when there is a good customer service, then the word of mouth will spread to their friends and then there will be a repeat purchase so your sales will grow. Okay, so CRM help businesses build a relationship with their customers that in turn creates loyalty and customer retention. So what is the, the end point when we say loyalty and customer retention? It's a repeat purchase is a growth of sales. Okay, now we go to the effective guidelines in the implementation of customer relationship management. Number one, adopt the right mindset towards customer service. Okay. Customer is always right. Okay, so we have to give importance. We have to hear our customers by having our suggestion box. Okay, we have to, to listen to them so that we can improve our services or our products. Second, purchase or develop CRM software. Third, quantity customer acquisition and retention costs. Number four, develop and implement a customer service training program. So in my company before, we, have, uh, we had our customer service training almost every month. Okay, so this is how our company gave importance to customer training. Next is empower salespersons to make decisions. Six, establish communication lines between your customer and customer contact staff. Okay, so we will provide them with our contact details. So we can hear them, no, in... in in their complaints, if there might be. Okay, so shop your competition. Know also your competition. What are their strategies when it comes to relationship in uh, customer relationship? Know also their techniques. Keep innovating customer service. Yes, because uh, customers' uh, demand is not constant it is always changing okay so we as a marketers or a businessman we also have to innovate our ways kasi baka yung yung ways mo today is no longer applicable in the future okay so you have to keep innovating your customer service next promote genuine customer service with passion okay hindi lang for for business only for for what but it has to be done no with with love okay with care to your customers okay now we go to the um the customer lifetime value or the CVL. So customer lifetime value is the forecasted sales or profits that a company can derive from the entire span of its future relationship with a particular customer. So that is CVL. The forecasted sales we get from that certain customers throughout the span. Okay, so what is that customer lifetime or the CVL? So customer lifetime value perspective has several distinct implications. Okay, number one, it considers a long-term perspective of a company's relationship with a customer in contrast to a short-term view of take the customer's money and run. Okay, so it is more on a long-term perspective. Next, it calculates and compares costs of acquiring customers and keeping the old ones. This can be used to determine the revenues that are lost when an existing customer switches to another products. 
Okay? And it highlights the importance of market segmentation with the recognition that some customer groups are profitable than others. It is very favorable no, when our customer are loyal customer or uh, repeat customers na po sila. We don't have, we don't need to, we don't need to, to spend money to, to have a campaign to them because they know our services already. But in contrast, when we are, when those old customers will switch to another uh, business, so we will be acquiring new customers and then we have to spend cost again okay with this new customer so keeping customer retention and their loyalty is very important in every organization okay so we can have we can compute the cvl by having by having this formula cvl is equal to the pv times the rp and times the rt where the pv is the average peso value of a sale to a particular customer and then the rp is the repeat purchase in a year and then the rt is the retention time in a month or years so we will be discussing more on this, I'll be giving more examples on how to compute the CVL. Okay, so as of today, this will end my discussion on customer relationship, customer service. This is very important topic. For us marketers, we have to know the, the, the proper way of customer service we have to value them as the lifeblood of the business okay so thank you so much for listening and god bless us all have a great day ahead